the Blessed Damoiselle. 1846 by uh, Dante Gabriel Rossetti. The Blessed Damoiselle leaned out from the gold bar of heaven. Her eyes were deeper than the depth of water stilled at even. She had three lilies in her hand and the stars in her hair were seven. Her robe, ungirt from clasp to hem, no wrought flowers did adorn, but a white rose of Mary's gift, for service meetly worn. Her hair that lay along her back was yellow like ripe corn. Her seemed she scarce had been a day one of God's choristers. The wonder was not yet quite gone from that still look of hers. Albeit to them she left her day, had counted as ten years. To one it is ten years of years, yet now and in this place, surely she leaned o'er me, her hair fell all about my face. Nothing, the autumn fall of leaves, the whole year sets apace. It was the rampart of God's house that she was standing on by God built over the sheer depth. The which is space begun so high that looking downward thence she scarce could see the sun. It lies in heaven across the flood of ether as a bridge. Beneath the tides of day and night with flame and darkness ridge, the void as low as where this earth spins like a fretful midge. Around her lovers newly met, mid deathless love's acclaims, spoke evermore among themselves their heart remembered names, and the souls mounting up to God went by her like thin flames. And still she bowed herself and stooped out of the circling charm, until her bosom must have made the bar she leaned on warm. And the lilies lay as if asleep along her bended arm. From the fixed place of heaven she saw time like a pulse shake fierce through all the worlds her gaze still strove within the gulf to pierce its path, and now she spoke as when the stars sang in their spheres. The sun was gone now, the curled moon was like a little feather, fluttering far down the gulf, and now she spoke through the still weather. Her voice was like the voice the stars had when they sang together. Ah, sweet, even now, in that bird song, strove not her accents there, fain to be hearkened when those bells possessed the midday air. Strove not her steps to reach my side down all the echoing stair. I wish that he were come to me, for he will come, she said. Have I not prayed in heaven, on earth? Lord, Lord, has he not prayed? Are not two prayers a perfect strength? And shall I feel afraid?